Hello, my name is Pastor Andy Schreier from Redeemer Lutheran Church. The French have a saying, there is no pillow so soft as a clean conscience. Do you want to avoid lying awake at night staring into the dark abyss? Do you want to fall fast asleep as soon as your head hits a pillow? Live right, be honest, treat others fairly, and you'll sleep like a baby. Sadly, we've all experienced the exact opposite, the tossing and the turning, the regret, the worry, the fear. Your wife just caught you looking at something you shouldn't on your phone. You both end up lying on opposite ends of the bed, facing away from each other, eyes wide open. A no man's land stretches between the two of you. Her heart is full of hurt and anger. Yours is full of embarrassment, regret, and frustration. It was so dumb. You tell yourself as you stare into the darkness, why did I do that? 24-7 stress of living a lie, the, the fear of facing the consequence of what we've done, the feeling like a failure. We relive the moment again and again in our minds, hoping that somehow we could just go back in time and make it right. But that's impossible. You can't go back. You can't undo what's been done. So you lie there, your heart hurting, your stomach turning, unable to relax, unable to sleep. And if that keeps you up at night, think about this. God hates what you did. Your failure, your sin, your mistake separates you from him. You deserve his punishment. You deserve to die. You deserve to rot forever in hell for what you did. No matter how relatively big or small your mistake, that thought alone should keep you up at night. If your failures and failings give you insomnia, if regret and guilt keep you up at night, there is something you can do to help you sleep. And, and it's not counting sheep or popping a pill. Repent. Talk to God about what you've done. Tell him you're sorry. And then trust that he has and will always forgive you. Because Jesus suffered your punishment in your place on the cross, God will never punish you. Every mistake, every failure, every mess up is gone forever. God is not angry with you. You will not die because of your sin. You will not go to hell. Just because God forgives you, though, doesn't mean you won't have to face the consequences of your actions here on earth. You will still have to face your angry wife. You'll still have to face the judge, the, the principal, or your boss. And that can be scary. It can be painful. The thought of that can keep you up at night. But even then, God lovingly promises to be with you as you deal with the consequences of what you've done. He promises to make everything work out for your good. Though it may be hard, he will bring you out the other end stronger and with a peace that only he can give. Psalm writer once wrote, I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. We can lie down with a clean conscience, knowing the forgiveness Jesus won for us. We can sleep in peace because God promises to, to be with us and make all things work together for our good. We can close our eyes without fear because God promises us a home with him forever in heaven. In the end, God's promises are the softest pillow there is.